Former Nazi Gestapo chief Klaus Barbie went on trial today in France. The 73-year-old Barbie is charged with crimes against humanity, torturing Jews and resistance fighters, and deporting them to die in German concentration camps. In court today, he gave his name as Klaus Altman, the identity he used when he fled to Bolivia after the war. A federal judge in Los Angeles today dropped all charges against eight immigrants accused of belonging to a Palestinian terrorist group. The U.S. government was trying to deport them, but the judge ruled the order invalid. That case had brought protests from Arab American groups who said the Reagan administration was trying to stifle criticism of its Mideast policy. The Israeli cabinet is deadlocked tonight over what some Israelis see as a historic chance for peace and some others see as a death trap. The proposal is being pushed by Foreign Minister Paris. It is for an international conference leading to direct talks with the Arabs. Bob Simon is in Israel. Israel is as divided now as it was over peace with Egypt or the war in Lebanon. Split down the middle, on the streets, in the inner sanctum of the Israeli government. Top cabinet officials met for five hours today. Foreign Minister Perez formally proposed a Middle East peace conference. Prime Minister Shamir opposed the idea. Nobody budged. The cabinet could agree on only one thing. The cabinet will continue his deliberation on Wednesday. Uh, this is all. Outside the Prime Minister's office, the shouting season had begun. At stake, whether to give up land for peace, parts of the West Bank of the Jordan captured in the 67 war, an issue so volatile that it could topple Israel's 30-month-old coalition government. Yes, it may lead to our elections. I mean, if the government will be unable to take a decision, yes. Supporters of Perez believe a unique opportunity has arisen with Jordan's King Hussein ready yeah, to negotiate with no guarantees, <laughs> with a new Soviet leader perhaps willing to play a constructive role, with a weakened PLO, this is a time to take risks. If this specific government would miss this opportunity, it is a real pity. But right-wingers are convinced an international conference would leave Israel alone and vulnerable to pressures to give up vast stretches of territory. Their slogan, International Conference, Recipe for National Suicide. Top Israeli officials say they've received a letter from Secretary Schultz, which endorses an international conference as the only practical way to continue the peace process, a process which in Israel has never seemed peaceful at all. Bob Simon, CBS News, Tel Aviv.